first could you introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, good afternoon. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the CBA TV, uh, the great news and activities you are doing in Somaliland in particular. My name is Abraham Isa, I'm the Chief uh, Executive Officer for Chiasol. Chiasol is a service provider uh, with the head office in Harrogate, Somaliland, and engineering offices in Australia, India, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the UK. And the Chiasol Chia speciality is a technology, mainly e-government and GIS, which is a geographic information system. We have been working with Somaliland government since 2018, and we implemented the first ever digital land and property registration, uh, particularly against the local government, where the citizens, particularly the landlords, are registering for their, for their property through that system, which is quicker, cheaper, and easier when you compare in the bus. And I remember, I, particularly the local people, if they want to register their property, it used to take more than six months and they have to pay too much money at the same time. But now the system absolutely removes those barriers and the citizens of Somaliland and in particular the capital city are enjoying that service. So uh, when you were presenting uh, your uh, presentation, you said that your company targets the most uh, populous cities in the country. Why do you prefer? Why not even these least cities? That's a very good question. I think the reason we did in Hargeisa is because Hargeisa is the capital city and it has a 1.5 million uh, residents approximately. And if you want to do something for the first time as a case study, you have to think about it. Uh, where the population is higher and where the, basically the challenges also exist. That time, Hargeza was the, uh, the only city which the land dispute was higher than the other cities in Somaliland. That's why we targeted. And although at the same time, the majority of the population of Somaliland is currently living in the city, and in particular the capital city. And that is absolutely similar when it comes to the African countries at the same time. In the meantime, you said that when you came here, many people surprised you. Why are you working here instead of developed countries? Because you are from UK, you work in other developed countries. How do you see that expression from the public? That's a very excellent question. I, I abs you're absolutely right. People was really very surprised when we came the first time in Hargeisa and particularly in Somaliland. And we have decided to make Hargeisa the third city in Africa to enjoy the GIS, Geographic Information System, at the same time the e-government, comparing to many other, go many other governments in Africa. For example, in Ethiopia, it's a very limited and rare to see the technology is growing and basically uh, moving very fastly. But in Rwanda, Rwanda has introduced the e-government and the GIS system in 2015. And Somaliland, a couple of la la years later, we introduced in 2018. And Hargeisa and Somaliland became the third country in Africa using the GIS system when they compare to the other African or East African nations. Very good example. President Uhura Kenyatta in Kenya recently introduced, and it was a 20, I think 21st of April 20, uh, 2021, when he introduced the first GIS and e-government system, which is not even equivalent what the Somaliland currently has. So it seems to me Somaliland is an absolutely the right place to do this job. And at the same time, when it comes to the technology, is a very advanced. But this current system, which we are doing, the GIS and this kind of things, is quite new to the country. And the people still have kind of a resistance or may, well, perceptions and all these kind of things. But when they get used to it, they will appreciate. And we already know the landlords, particularly the business community, are currently enjoying that. And they already started to register their property and land through this system. We are not only doing for this. But the program and the system is also helping the government uh, to think about uh, transportation planning, traffic management, and at the same time the system will enable the government to use a uh, fire basically services to identify the exact location through the GPS and the GIS system registration. Because we became the first, count, second, third country in, in, in Africa enjoying to use the zip code system. So Hergeza is currently have a complete addressing system which includes the international support system, which will enable them to use the e-commerce and the other services which they use to travel all the way to Dubai, 
Sometimes it's maybe to China, sometimes it's maybe to Japan. But currently they don't need to go all those kind of places. They can easily go online and make their personal details and at the same time add their particular address with the international zip code and the delivery will come either DHL or any other uh, postal service provider. Okay, so you also said that you are partnering with the uh, ministries, including the Minister of Information, Communication and Technology in Postal Service. Could you tell us more detail about it? You're absolutely right. Uh, I think this conference we are in here today is the second ICT a, a conference in Somaliland, which is very well organized by the Ministry of Information and Telecommunication and Technology. And uh, as a GSOL, we really uh, enjoying to uh, let our uh, customers and at the same time our wider community to understand more what we're doing for them. The second thing, we currently we have been working for the last 12 months with the Ministry of Information and, and Communication Technology and we are implementing the national addressing system which will be used officially for the next couple of months and the Ministry will be in charge and leading that particular project with the help of the GSL technology services we provided for them. Okay, thank you very much, Ibrahim Issa, for your time.